Hi, my name is Jordan. I'm a watershed education specialist at the Cedar River Watershed. Seattle has some of the best water in the world. How does Seattle have such great water? It really comes down to the four T's of clean water. Thoughtful ownership, trees, treatment, and testing. Did you know that whatever goes on the land goes in the water? When European Americans began moving to the Seattle area in the 1800s, they learned that the hard way. At that time, folks were getting drinking water from Lake Union, Lake Washington, and local springs in the same area where they were living and, yes, going to the bathroom. Well, they had some problems, one of them being typhoid. Typhoid fever is a deadly disease passed from human waste through drinking water. In 1890, there were so many cases of typhoid fever that the health officer could not investigate them all. On top of that, the Great Seattle Fire of 1889 burned the entire city to the ground because they didn't have enough water pressure to put out the flames. It was obvious that Seattle needed a new water supply. So they went to the mountains of the Cedar River watershed, up high so gravity could increase water pressure. After 100 years of purchasing, trading, and moving people off of the land, the city of Seattle now owns almost all the land. Which brings us to our first T, thoughtful ownership. By owning 99.7% of the land in the Cedar River watershed and 70% of the land in the Tolt River watershed, Seattle can make sure nothing is getting on the land that could then contaminate the water. For over 100 years, watershed protection staff have patrolled for trespassers and taken water samples while keeping a careful eye on our boundaries. If you take a look around, it's obvious what the second T is. Trees! We know trees make oxygen to breathe, but did you know that they keep the water clean too? The key is in their roots. Ever pulled a plant out of the ground? Check out all that dirt. Hundreds of thousands of miles of roots cover the landscape, holding the ground securely in place, keeping the water crystal clear. The water looks clean enough to drink, but it has to get treated before it's sent to 1.5 million people in the greater Seattle area. Treatment is the third T. The Cedar River and the Tolt River are both managed for drinking water by Seattle Public Utilities. At the Cedar, there are steps to treat your water. Screens remove big stuff like leaves, twigs, sticks, and fish. It is then disinfected with three disinfectants. Ozone blasts apart any contaminants, making the water smell like, well, nothing. UV light is like sunshine in a light bulb. It kills anything that's in the water, such as microscopic bacteria. Chlorine keeps the water disinfected through the pipes. Mineral lime is added to make sure pipes don't leave any lead behind in the water. Fluoride protects your teeth from decay. If your water comes from the Tolt River watershed, it gets treated a little differently. Ozone blasts apart contaminants to help with taste and odor. Filters trap microscopic contaminants and remove them from the water. Chlorine keeps the water disinfected through the pipes. Mineral lime and carbon dioxide are added to make sure the pipes don't leave any lead behind in the water. Fluoride protects your teeth from decay. Before and after treatment, the water is tested. Finally, the fourth T of Seattle's clean water, testing. 
The Cedar and Tote Rivers are given lots of tests required by state and federal laws. Without testing, we wouldn't know for sure that the water was safe. At the Water Quality Lab, the water is tested for over 300 different things such as bacteria, parasites, pH, and heavy metals. Guess how many days a year it's tested? 365, 366 in a leap year. Thanks to the two protected watersheds, the drinking water does a great job and passes all its tests. Tap water has to pass many more tests, costs just pennies compared to bottled water, and doesn't add yet another plastic bottle to our planet Earth. Plus, according to blind taste tests, most people can't even tell the difference between tap water and bottled water. It's taken time and dedication for Seattle to have such tasty, safe water. Thanks to thoughtful ownership, trees, treatment, and testing, Seattle has some of the best water around. So you keep drinking from the tap and we'll keep taking care of the water at this end.